So it is Manchester City to get us underway. It has been a desperately disappointing test. Taking on Karabali, Wahabi, now Greenwoods. Manchester City really pushing high up. Nervy clearance away, who yields the first early ready this season. Certainly something to build on in that performance. Manchester City builds down the left. Hemp went for the chip. Bagley just about deals with it. Jotti. Now Haley. Robinson wants it, and Haley has found her cleared away by Keating. Zijotti. Here come Brighton. Almost three to Katie Robinson. Alexandri has to watch turn and flags up. Keating saves. But Brighton almost in behind. Denied by Keating and the offside flag. The sense of the danger that Turlan can cause. Good break. Yeah, really good break from Brighton. I think as well, you see, Man City defenders looked a little bit nervous as well. And I think that's what Turlan comes right. Steps away from Coombs. Now Madison Haley. Too much on it for Katie Robinson. Here is Park. And Hemp could be in here. Hemp for Manchester City. Brilliantly squeezed through. Sophie Bagley beaten. And Lauren Hemp gives Manchester City the goal they sorely need after the 10 days that they've had. Brighton nil, Manchester City won. And it's hard for Brighton, you know, because obviously they've had a couple of little moments there in, in City's box, but you can't allow a player like Lauren Hemp to have the time and the space to do that, because she'll punish them. It's a good patient build-up play from City. You see Lauren Hemp, she's run off the back of Lasada. I mean, Bagley, I think, will be wanting to do a bit better with that one especially from that angle here. But you can't allow a player like Jess Park to be able to pick the space up, the ball up there in that much space. And from a great angle, she does finish it, but you can see so badly the frustration, the punch down on the pitch as well. She knows she should do better with that one. It's a lovely ball by Jess Park. Vicky Lasada almost getting something on it. But Lauren Hibb taking the chance quickly. And the power on it enough to beat Sophie Bagley. Manchester City, the fall, almost kindly for Brighton. Counter Valley in the end is rather wasteful. You can see straight away with Counter Valley. She gets a touch there. And she has one thing on her mind, and that's to that's to have a shot. A bit sloppy for Manic Greenwood as well, in all honesty, to be able to just give the ball straight to her. But what you see as well is Brighton. They're getting high up the pitch, but they're getting more numbers up the pitch as well. They're not going enough. Thing in her mind, it looks like. Still going him, and the block was needed. Well, she's got drive this afternoon, Lauren him. Yeah, and I was just watching in the build-up play as well, because you had Laura Coombs come all the way out to left wing, really, and Lauren Hemp's gone and took up the central position. And she's able to pick the ball up here. I mean, no player should be able to pick the ball up there and run that distance as well without even getting a tackle. Jess Park moves away, and Mary Fowler will swing it in. And the header is off the line. Manchester City so close to the second as Coombs' as effort is deflected behind. Last ditch defending by Brighton. Yes, it's a good header for Manix Greenwood there. Back down towards the goal. So Jotty's standing there on the line, and, and that's the important in the second phase to make sure you're switch on. That's why oh, I will latch onto it. Good play. Goes the goal herself. Bagley beats it away. And just enough on it to send him wide as well. Manchester City still come. Wahabi. Full delivery. Lead away by Lasada, who was then taken out by Khadija Shaw. Shin pads go. Here come Manchester City once again. Fowler's there. Fowler scores. 2 0. Lovely run. Lovely finish. And Manchester City take a grip on this game. That's like Man City's DNA, isn't it, really? From one wide player setting up the other wide player. Lauren Hemp there, it's a great delivery. Brighton obviously start with playing the ball, so he badly goes long. Good pick up over Lauren Hemp. Little one-two as well, which is what I said earlier on. That's the way to get past Brighton. 
and then Mary Fowler completely unmarked to the back post there. One two from Coombs and Hemp. Great delivery in. She's in that difficult area as well with Bagley. Does she come? Does she stay? Defenders ain't got a clue where she is. It's a nice calm finish from Fowler. Third goal of the season for the Australian. Previous Tyson's back line. Not quite at full fitness. Well, this has paid off. They've got through to half time Brighton. Now the set Maria Torres dot here. But Manchester City it is who lead by two goals to nil at the break. Chili Clarity. Yeah, I mean I think it's a it's it's, it's been a, a frustrating half, I think, for Brighton. Obviously they did set up initially really well. Man City have, I still think, Torres Doss here, and that's a lot of experience, Jilly, to have lost. I mean, the Wahabi. Him. Nice turn. Decent try. Very decent indeed. Cannons off the post. What an effort from Lauren Him. So close to 3 0 Manchester City. And you probably wouldn't expect Lauren Him to come in on her right foot and, and, and curl the ball the way she did. It's a great effort, it's a great... Manchester City still come. Here is Jess Park, nice footwork. In the end, straightforward enough for Bagley. Lee Gumin, their former player that undid them. Oh, Coombs down right on the edge of the area there. Giving the referee a decision to make and she's given the handball against Laura Coombs. Well, interesting call from referee Megan Wilson, but it's one of those, you, you, you've got to... What can Manchester City make of this move here? It's promising it. Here is Fowler. Might go for goal. Does go for goal. Too far away from Mary Fowler. Yeah, she cuts inside on her right foot. She did originally go on her left and then she cuts back in. Hope for Caravalli. Free kick for Manchester City. Greenwood goes for goal, beaten away by Bagley. On the follow-up is him, blocked and cleared. And Brighton survive. And are off on the counter. Here goes Robinson, roared on by the home crowds. Hasegawa with her, Robinson still with it. And in the end, Wahabi getting back. City have taken the corner short. Hasegawa will send it in, and the header is in. Third goal for Manchester City. And that will be the three points for Manchester City. Bunny Shaw rising. And Manchester City are back on track this season. They lead Brighton by three goals to nil. I think you can tell by the way the game's going. It was, it was waiting to happen again. Brighton far too slow to come and close that ball down. Can't allow a player like Yumi Hasegawa to get the ball there and have the time and space to pick out Shaw. That's really well with the header. But as soon as that ball goes into the box, you need to be steaming out of there to put the pressure on. Don't allow her to hit the ball in there. Shaw sure does really well to climb up and head it in past Bagley. 17th goal of the season for Khadija. Top four is all about getting into the top three, getting Champions League. Here come Manchester City. Fowler, it's behind. Sure, it's Coombs. It's four. And she does have her goal. Swept home to underscore how Manchester City have bounced back from their recent disappointments. They are very much taking a claim in this title race. They lead Brighton by four goals to nil, and they're moving level on points with leaders Chelsea. I did say, though, it was a matter of time for Laura Coombs. You know, she's been able to pick that spot throughout the whole of this game, on the edge of the box. Right, no Brighton player has got a clue where she is at all. Completely all of them just ball watching there. She's able to just get the ball, passes it into the back of the net, but that's been coming for Laura Coombs because she's done that throughout the whole of this game and she's deserved her goal. Taking up the perfect position, finding the clinical finish as well. And it is her last action of the game, Laura Coombs, because Manchester City have made a double change. Three. 
lovely ball over the top. Turlins drawing the save from Keesing, and once more, as she was in the first half, also denied by the flag. Yeah, straight away then, I just said, what a ball. <laughs> and they don't go for goal, Manchester City. Steve Clark will play it to Fowler. His delivery. Sari battling with Shaw. Shaw's come away with it. Sari blocks it. Her role in this game is done. Brighton, Turlin, Sari. Oh, brilliant! Brighton do get a goal. Lee Gumin's run causing all sorts of problems. And the home fans have something to celebrate. Thumbs up from Lee Gumin against her former club. It will only be a consolation, but it will mean so much to this player. Off the bench again to cause the damage for Manchester City. And what a delicate finish it is. Yeah, and I think if you're looking at Manchester City, it's come down that right-hand side for them where they've made two substitutions. On this result, this performance for Manchester City, and as we've said, the difference could be so key. But the key thing was to respond to the disappointment of those two cup exits that ended their treble hopes, but their WSL title hopes are very much alive. Gareth Taylor's side responding to a disappointing few days with a victory that takes them level on points with leaders Chelsea in the WSL. Jilly Gladdy. Yeah, I mean, I listen, I think after the week that they've had, the main thing will be that they come away with the results. And that's, like I said, that's the only thing that they can control now. Is their is their results and is their the game by game, but I do.